To Stanford now, where the university is reporting an outbreak of COVID-19 cases among students. More than two dozen cases have been confirmed, six of them from one student residence. Ground 4 is Charles Clifford joining us live from the Stanford campus with the very latest details. Charles. Yeah. Hey there, yes. Yeah. So over the past two months or so, Stanford has uh, averaged uh, 13 positive cases or less among its student population. But they say last week, after doing about 14,000 tests for COVID-19, which is pretty normal, they actually found that their number of positive cases doubled. According to Stanford University, 26 students have tested positive for COVID-19 since November 8th. That's the most in a single week since mid-September. Eight staff and faculty members have also tested positive over the past week. The school says that six of those students live in on-campus housing. According to students we talked to on Tuesday, most were in this row house along Mayfield Avenue. Leslie alone lives here. She says that so far this year, she hasn't been too worried about COVID, but the spike in cases is concerning. Lately has been more of a worry because I'm such like close proximity to people who've tested positive, but, um, but I've like tested basically, we've been testing like every day and we right. were provided rapid tests as well. So um, no one with rapid tests came out positive. So I feel pretty, pretty good right now. The university said in a statement to Cron 4 that the students who tested positive have been isolated and those at high risk for exposure have been quarantined. They also say that the university will continue to require surveillance testing for all members of the campus community and follow all safety protocols. All right, back live now. Uh, the campus or the university also says that their positivity rate over seven days remains below that of Santa Clara County and California as a whole. But for now, in uh, Palo Alto, Star Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.